Hello, this is Dana and welcome to my channel, The Orchid Hut. Thank you for taking some of your time today to watch one of my orchid videos. I thought today what we would do is just take a walk through all of my winter orchids and what some of them are doing or not doing. And, um, you know, they're in three locations now, which is a little bit unexpected. I have um, the bay window area orchids, which, you know, are always here. And then I have my setup with the shelves and the grow lights in another part of the house. But then there were a group of orchids that were still managing to hang on in the garage. And uh, even those are inside now because it's just way too chilly at night and it's not even warming up during the day. So I will uh, give you a quick look at those as well. And uh, we're going to start with the orchids that are in the bay window. We'll start over here on the left-hand side. And uh, the first one that you'll see on the left is a mounted Phalaenopsis-type dendrobium. And that one is typically outside, but in for the winter. It's getting a bit of a soft winter's rest, so I have decreased watering a whole lot. You know, it's on a mount, but I'm still maybe only watering it once, maybe twice a week and a very, very weak feed, only every once in a while. Um, the next Phalaenopsis that you see is one that was in bloom several years ago when I purchased it, but I have not managed to get this one to rebloom for me, not quite sure why. I'm uh, watching for spikes every time I pull it out to check on it, but nothing, nothing uh, yet. And um, you know, even some of my mini fowls have not decided to spike yet. So not quite sure what's up with that, but you know, patience is key when growing orchids. And then um, you can see uh, a variety of orchids. Um, they're all kind of a bit quiet right now in the winter. They're not exactly growing much, you know, not um, really showing any kind of signs of activity yet. I think as soon as the day length gets longer, and maybe it gets a bit warmer in this window, they'll do a bit better. There is still a Phalaenopsis type dendrobium in bloom way up there at the top. And then of course my little green apples, Latoria type dendrobium is pretty much blooming year round. This is the kind of the end of its fall blooming frenzy. And so some of these blooms now are starting to turn yellow and I'll need to be clipping them off when I have a moment to tidy them because otherwise they just drop and sometimes they're a little bit sticky and then I have to clean up the counter. And then this is Penelope, the extremely large white Phalaenopsis and her bloom spike, which has, uh, as best I can tell, at least 10 buds on it right now. And that tip is not finished growing. So it may have even more than that before it's finished. And then um, my Neophenicia is really quiet over there on the moss mound. I have a, have a couple of really small Paphiopetalums down there, which need extremely careful care because they're so small. And then I have another uh, Phalaenopsis right here up front that um, kind of lost its root system a few years back and it has struggled to recover. The leaves are doing pretty well, the root system is doing better, but still this one is not ready to rebloom for me for whatever reason. And then a sad discovery this morning when I pulled these out to check if they needed water. I have a uh, mini mark. Phalaenopsis right there and it looks like the bloom spike that has been sitting there for months and months is beginning to turn yellow and it may very well blast on me and that one will have to start over. Okay, so that's a bit of a update on what's going on in the bay window. Uh, the next clip will be uh, the orchids growing under the grow lights. Okay, stay tuned for part two. Okay, so this is um, just one 
uh, of the shelving units with grow lights. It uh, looks a bit crowded because I'm doing a little bit of rearranging. Uh, the thing that I've found is that the plant size and the amount of space on the shelf is not exactly always compatible. Um, the leaves can't be exactly right up against the lights and then it's not great for the leaves to be too far away from the lights. So it's uh, difficult, I think, to find a, um, a right balance between where plants should be placed and then um, how much space should be allowed for the height of the shelf. So I am continuing to kind of play around with that. Um, on this particular shelf uh, are some of the higher light orchids because they're larger and they're closer to the lights. But then you'll also see a phalaenopsis there because it's a bit shorter. And so there's a real hodgepodge on this shelf. Um, there is a Cattleya type orchid. It's a Potinara that's at the very back. Let me see if I can zoom in on it. Well, the Dendrobium is in the way. But it's actually in that white pot behind the Dendrobium. And I do believe the new growth on that will have a bloom sheath. And then you see the catacetum to the left. And that has, I believe, either a bud for new growth um, and or another bud or two for possibly a flower spike. It's a plant that I'm not, you know, entirely familiar with yet in its growing patterns. So we'll see what that one does. It's very interesting, though, to watch. And then on the bottom shelf, I have... Um, you know, again, just a mixture of things. I have my collection of Tolumnias down at the bottom. It seemed like they were a little bit too close to the lights on another shelf that I had them on, so I put them here where they had a little bit more space. They were getting uh, a lot of uh, purplish tinge to them. So I moved them here because I was afraid the light in the other location was maybe a little bit too bright for them. I'm going to zoom in on my Tolumnia bahamensis and you can hopefully see the bloom spike right there. Really anxious for that one to bloom. And then I put another one of my Neo Phoenicias here because I was a little concerned that it was not getting enough light in the bay window with all of the dreary weather that we've been having. Okay, let me take a little break and we'll go over to the other shelving unit. Okay, so my largest uh, Cattleya type orchid right here in front of the camera, it does not fit under any of the shelves at all. The uh, bloom sheath here is turning just the tiniest bit yellow but I think I may see a bud forming down at the bottom. Hopeful, hopeful that I will get a bloom from this. Uh, oftentimes, um, these orchids, when they have their very first bloom sheath, they don't completely form and they're kind of like a false, a false um, bloom. Uh, so we'll see if this, that one actually develops. And then my really, really tall Dendrobium muschatum species orchid it's getting a soft winter's rest, but not really seeing much activity on that right now. Um, over here, Vanilla Planifolia. It does have a new growth right there on the left-hand side. It's getting, you know, side light from the, the growing lights because it also does not fit on a shelf. And then um, here... We have some Cattleya types. We have a very, very short Phalaenopsis. We have a Cymbidium. My Cymbidiums are behaving a little strangely, maybe, but I don't have a lot of years of experience growing those yet, so I'm just kind of in a wait-and-see mode on those. You can see this uh, Phalaenopsis has a pretty good spike going up that stake. And... That's about it for the shelves. 
Now, there are some plants on the tops of both of these plant stands, but they are currently in the dark, and I'll show you why in just a second. Okay, so this is the very unexpected part. Many of these orchids had still been in the garage coming out for the day when the day was warmer and the garage was still warm enough for them, but now they're in my spare bathtub. So this is the unexpected part of orchid growing. Unfortunately, the bad part is that they've been in here now for about a week. And so I decided to take the grow light that was on the um, plants at the top of the plant rack and move it in here just for a few days so that I could give these orchids some light. So that's the reason why the orchids in the other room on the top shelf are in the dark is because I moved the grow light in here. This is mostly um, bulbophyllum orchids that are growing in wooden slat baskets. I have one phalaenopsis here because I'm trying to train the spike to grow straight and so it'll grow straight up for that grow light if I leave it there a few days. And then um, I have some of my vandas also hanging here. And the weather is just going to have to get a bit warmer before these can go back outside. And then I'll have the mess, of course, in the bathtub to clean up. All right, so it goes with orchid growing. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And the subscribe button will be coming in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.